Welcome to Sangfor Cloud Center demo video. This video is organized into four sections. The first section provides an overview of the user hierarchy within Sangfor Cloud infrastructure. Sections two through four focus on platform operations. Section two covers the creation of MSP accounts and quota allocation. Section three explains tenant account creation and quota assignment and Section 4 addresses billing and metering. Section 1. Overview of Sang4 Cloud Infrastructure Hierarchy Sang4 Cloud Infrastructure Hierarchy is divided into four roles, Super Admin, MSP, Tenant Admin, and Tenant User. The Super Admin is the platform owner, typically the Cloud Service Provider CSP. The MSP, Managed Service Provider, acquires resources from the CSP and resells them to tenants, often acting as the CSP's partner. Tenants are customers or end users who utilize the platform to host their business operations. The platform also allows tenant admins to create multiple tenant users for resource management. Section 2, MSP Account Creation and Quota Allocation. In this section, we will demonstrate how to create an MSP account and allocate resources. First, log into the admin portal using Super Admin Credentials. This is the Super Admin Dashboard. Navigate to the Users and Access Management Select MSPs and click New to create an MSP account. Enter the following information such as MSP name, username, email, and mobile number. The mobile number will receive OPT codes for two-factor authentication. Set a password manually or generate a random one. For this demo, we uncheck Require Password Change at first login. Click Next. Enter mandatory details like MSP company name and optional fields. Click OK to finish the MSP account creation. The new MSP account is now visible in the list. Next, assign resource pools to the MSP for resale. Click Add, select a data center, and choose resource pools. Multiple data centers may appear in the list if the CSP has different data centers in various regions. Select the resource pool from the data center. There may be multiple resource pools available such as shared resource pools or dedicated resource pools. Click OK to finalize the resource pool assignment. Now allocate quota to the MSP. Navigate back to Users and Access Management, locate the MSP account, and click Set Quota. Select the DC. Two quota types are available, Global Resources and Resource Pool. Global resources include items such as public IP addresses and internet bandwidth. Resource pool encompasses items like VM storage, VM cores, RAM, and NFV. Next, we will assign the global resources of data center first. Expand IP and bandwidth and click Add. We can select which line to allocate as well as determine the amount of public IP addresses and bandwidth to assign. The remaining options can be selected according to your requirements. Click Save to complete the Global Resources Quota Allocation. You can verify the assignment again, and you will see the allocated quota and its usage. Next, we will allocate the Resource Pool Quota. For VM storage, there may be different types of storage available when setting up the infrastructure. Allocate based on your requirements and click OK to finish the storage allocation. Expand the VMs option to allocate VM resources such as cores and RAM. Other resources like ADC, Backup, or NGAF, NFV, can also be allocated. Expand the NGAF section to see various options or models of NFV that can be allocated based on your needs. Click Save to complete the resource pool resource allocation. That's it! This is how we create an MSP account and allocate the quota for the MSP. Section 3. Tenant Account Creation and Quota Assignment In this section, we will create a tenant account using MSP credentials. First, we need to log in to the user portal with the MSP credential. 
From the MSP dashboard, navigate to Tenant Center to Tenants and click New. Enter the following information such as tenant name, username, email, and mobile number. Set a password or generate a random one. For this demo, we uncheck Require Password Change at first login. Click Next Enter the mandatory tenant company name and click OK. The tenant account is now successfully created. After creating the tenant account, the next step is to assign resources to the tenant enabling them to resell these resources to their own tenants. Click Add to start assigning the resource pool to the tenant. You can only assign the resource pools that the super admin has authorized to the MSP. Select the data center and the resource pool. Click OK to assign the resource pool to the tenant. Next, we will allocate the quota to the tenant to determine the amount of resources they can utilize. Navigate to Tenant Center to Tenants, locate the tenant account, and click Set Quota. Select the DC. You will see two types of resources that can be allocated. Global Resources and Resource Pool. First, let's assign Global Resources. Expand IP and Bandwidth, select the line, and specify the amount of public IP and bandwidth to allocate. Click Save to complete the Global Resources Quota allocation. You can verify the assignment again to see that the quota has been allocated and to view the usage of the quota. Next, let's allocate the Resource Pool Quota. We can allocate the VM Storage. There may be different types of storage assigned to the MSP. Allocate these accordingly to the tenant. Click OK to finalize the storage allocation. Expand the VMs option to allocate the VM resources quota such as cores and RAM. For NFV resources like NGAF, expand the NGAF section, select the model, and allocate based on your requirements. Click Save to complete the resources pool quota allocation. Now let's verify the tenant account and allocated quota by logging into the tenant portal. Log out of the MSP account and log in using the tenant credentials we just created. This is the Tenant Portal Dashboard. Next, we would like to verify the quota that has been allocated to the tenant navigate to operations to quota to verify the allocated resources. You can see the allocated quota for VM resources storage, public IP, bandwidth, NFV resources, and more. And that's it. This is how we create a tenant account and allocate the necessary quota for the tenant. Section 4. Tenant Pricing Design In this section, we will demonstrate how to design pricing for tenants and enable billing and metering for resource usage. The pricing design is determined by the MSP, allowing them to set their own rates for tenants. Different MSPs can have varying charging rates for their tenants. First, log in to the MSP portal using the MSP credentials. Navigate to Trading Center to Billing Management and then to Resource Pricing to begin designing the pricing. There are two pricing options standard pricing and individual pricing. Standard pricing is the default rate applied to all tenants, meaning every tenant will be charged the same rate. Individual pricing allows MSPs to set unique rates for specific tenants, such as offering discounts to VIP tenants. Let's start with standard pricing. There are two billing modes, Yearly Monthly Subscription and Pay As You Go. Yearly Monthly Subscription mode will be metered based on monthly usage. Pay As You Go mode will be metered based on hourly usage. For each billing item, set the unit price. For example, for VM resources, you can specify the rate based on the VM's specifications. For network resources, set prices for public IP and bandwidth usage. 
Bandwidth pricing can include a base rate and a burst rate for excess usage. For NFV resources like NGF, set different prices for different models. You can also specify discount rates for each resource. If you're unsure about pricing, click Recommended List Price for Sangfor's suggested rates. Use the Standard Discount button to apply bulk discounts to all resources or select specific products for discounts. After entering the discount rate, the discounted price will reflect immediately. Instead of applying a standard discount to all products, you can choose specific products to apply the standard discount. Click OK to save the standard pricing. Next, let's set individual pricing for a specific tenant. Click New, select the tenant from the drop-down list, and click Set Price. The pricing components are the same as in Standard Pricing, but you can customize rates for this tenant. For example, you can offer a VIP tenant a discounted rate. After applying the discount, the discounted price will update automatically. Click OK to save the individual pricing for the tenant. Now let's enable billing for the tenant. Navigate to Tenant Billing, locate the tenant, and verify the pricing rate. You can see that this tenant has been assigned an individual pricing rate. You can enable yearly or monthly subscription or pay-as-you-go billing modes for the tenant. To allow the tenant to view resource pricing before use, enable the Fee Viewing module under Permissions. Click Permission. Toggle on On-Demand Purchase and Fee Viewing for the tenant. Now let's verify the pricing design by logging into the tenant portal. Log out of the MSP account and log in using the tenant credentials. Navigate to Compute to Virtual Machine and click New to create a VM. Select the OS image you want to create and click Next. Configure the VM specs and the pricing for each component will be displayed. The tenant can choose between a yearly, monthly subscription or pay-as-you-go, and the cost will be calculated accordingly. This concludes the pricing design and metering setup for tenants. Thank you for watching the Sangfor Cloud Center demo video. In this demo, we covered user hierarchy, platform operations for MSP, tenant account setup with quota management, billing and metering processes, if you have any questions or would like to learn more about Sangfor Cloud Center, please feel free to contact us or visit our website at www.sangfor.com.